Oh, yes, yeah, Dallas Fort Worth, the whole area, which you know about. I sure do. Well, John, every time I drive by the Dallas Fort Worth uh, American Airlines Flight Academy, I think about you <laughs> <laughs> because you uh, that's where you got your jet captain rating. That's right. Have you been back any time si since then? Oh, goodness. I go back um, anywhere from uh, one to two times a year. Get yeah. checked out? Rechecked out. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to know that plane better than any pilot ever imagined. You haven't crashed and burned the simulator yet? Never. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope that doesn't happen, just that you have nice, good flying. Yeah. I have to tell you, John, that I really enjoyed your performance. I think, I, I, I'm going to say this and then I'll say, no, I shouldn't have said that. I think it may be the best thing you've ever done. Well, thank you. How do you feel about it? Um, well, I'd rather you say that than, than I say that, but I would, uh, I'd like to agree with you. I mean, it's, it's certainly uh, the most interesting role I've ever played. You're different mm -hmm. in that uh, you're more mature, a more mature actor. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult for you to make this kind of transition? No, not really. It's, um, you know, you, uh, an actor in my situation where I, I sort of came to fame at a very young age, you vamp until you get the roles that you wait for. I mean, so I, let's say I was, I'm 31 now, but when I was 21, I was starting to do my work in Hollywood, and the roles that you get from 21 to 31 are not exactly um, your ideal roles. And so finally now, I'm coming to an age where you get to play something more interesting. Than a, than a young man or a boy. You know, it's that kind of thing, I think. John, do you think that this might be the turning point in your career that you hoped Blowout would be? Um, I, don't, I don't know if I've, I've ever looked at any point, any given movie as a turning point. I just think it uh, adds to the overall body of work as someone does, you know. From but, uh, past interviews, John, I know that um, you have had some problems with certain members of the media and of the press. Now you're playing a journalist and you're on the other side of the fence. Is this going to affect the way that you feel towards journalists from now on? Well, I understand journalists better now because uh, I just realized what they have to go through. You see, there's, there's this code of ethics that they have, right? And the, let's say they have their own code then they have the, the magazine or newspaper that they work for, their code, and then they have the editor who is superior to them, their code that they're working. So they're, they're, di they're working with three different mores almost, and they, that's a conflict sometimes. Um, so I have more understanding of how a journalist will, will approach you, you know, and what their real target is. There's a lot of talk in the movie about journalists hurting people, even though they are telling the truth. Now, have you been victimized in that particular way during your career? Oh, I think early on I was sometimes, yeah. I mean, I, I even had some journalists, that, admittingly so, you know, they would say, gee, I'm, I'm sorry I did that to you, but, you know, I had to because of the type of magazine I worked for because of whatever reasons were coming up. But uh, I think there is that element, and then I think there are some very top-notch journalism uh, as well. You know. Have you ever wanted to throw a drink in the face of a journalist <laughs> like happens to you in the movie? Not really, because I, I, I've been interviewed so much in the last 10 years that I've become much more analytical about being interviewed. So therefore, I, I think that, that that sort of kind of reaction would be to someone who was hurt very deeply. but wasn't used to being interviewed. I'm so used to being interviewed and either praised or hurt that it's, I've, I've had sort of a tolerance for it or something, you know, it's par, par for the course. Have you ever had a confrontation though? Let's say a journalist wrote something and either you thought they distorted what you said or maybe they didn't, they just didn't have the truth there at all. Have you ever confronted them personally and say, why did you do that or you got that all wrong? Yeah, I have. Um, and often it works because uh, you're confronting them with fact or knowledge and uh, often you can correct um, actions done. So I think it's always good to fill in the vacuum. 
of information. And have they, what, then admitted in print or? Sometimes have taken yeah. retraction, corrected information that was wrong. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a really a variety of ways that one can sort of redeem mistakes. Yeah. Um, your aerobics scenes, and you have to get into that aerobics as, as the journalist, uh, the aerobics scene that you're in is quite sensual. And <laughs> <laughs> you laugh? Yeah. Yeah, you'd, but you, you, you agree that it is? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, you've seen the completed movie, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now, as you saw the final cut on it, uh, were you feeling that it was too much, or uh, you know, were you, were you uncomfortable looking at it? No. <laughs> I thought it was sort of sexy, so I. I sort of sexy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was actually that aerobics love scene was to replace the actual love making scene. So we had a, a debate on whether we as characters should have an actual love making scene or supplement it with, um, with this aerobic scene, which would, would be the metaphor for making love. So I like that choice even better than seeing us naked in bed. I think it's actually more erotic than it, uh, if you had seen us in bed. Oh, I agree, yeah. absolutely. There again, it's the imagination. Did it make you nervous? No, it was just that uh, it, it is so erotic. And uh, uh, there were people who got, got nervous <laughs> about it <laughs> and squirming around and seemed uncomfortable. And I was just curious to know whether it came out the way you thought it was going to come out. Oh, sure. Better, actually, because I didn't know if it would really act as a replacement for the lovemaking scene. Yeah. And, it's, and in the filmmaking, it's clear. I mean, I didn't know how aer an aerobics class could replace a lovemaking scene in the way Jim Bridges and Gordon Willis shot it, it was sort of clever in, in that it actually did. So, yeah, I, like, I prefer it, I prefer it. Was Mary Lou uh, at all jealous about uh, you and Jamie Lee, mm -hmm. the love scenes and all? No, no. Didn't bother her? No. In a way, is what's happening with her in People Magazine any sort of parallel to the movie and what happened to Jamie Lee? Oh, you mean um, the People Magazine story about Mary Lou, the mm -hmm. current one? I don't know because I haven't spoken to her about it, so I wouldn't know how it would correlate. Yeah. Okay. Well, John, we've run out of time. Wonderful to see you, and again, I'll say how very much I enjoyed your performance. Well, I mean, it's so refreshing to be able to be on this side of of an interview <laughs> and, and hear that being said. So I, I thank you very much. Okay, John. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Good, good. All right. John, was it difficult for you to play this kind of role? Yeah, okay. Uh, it was the lead question. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think I worded it as a different adjustment or something. The same thing. Okay. Oh, no, but it may have been changed. You, you don't know exactly what you said. Uh, the answer would have been different. I know it would have. Uh, okay. Um, was it quite an adjustment for you to play this kind of part? John, do you think that you will feel differently towards the media now having played a journalist? Do you consider this role a turning point in your career and do you think it will do for you what Blowout didn't do? Have you ever confronted a journalist about something he or she has written or said that wasn't true or that you didn't like? Have you ever wanted to throw a drink in the face of a journalist like you do in the film or like is done to you in the film?
the aerobic scenes are very sensual. You don't think they're sensual? Did the aerobic scene come out the way you thought it was going to come out? Was Mary Lou Henner was Mary Lou Henner at all jealous about your love scenes with Jamie Lee? John, I must tell you that I think your performance is wonderful. I'm starting to say and then wondering if I should, but I will anyway. I think it's the best thing you've ever done. Do you think this is the best thing you've ever done? Okay, just reactions now. Thank you. Well, I don't know.